Also out of the state house, all eyes are on Kansas lawmakers as they look to override a veto on a bill that would ban transgender athletes from competing in girls' sports. Now there are concerns that Republicans in the House may not have the votes. Our 27 News Capitol Bureau reporter, Rebecca Chung, joins us live right now. So, Rebecca, does it look like the efforts to pass the bill are moving forward? Thank you, David. Well, we're hearing that here in the House, final action on the governor's veto could take place next week. Of course, this comes after controversial comments on the issue have surfaced. Now, Democrats say that Republicans may not have enough support to get it passed. It's a controversial bill that's made waves this session, banning transgender student athletes from women's sports. Supporters call it the Fairness in Women's Sports Act. They claim biological differences create a competitive disadvantage. Biological men have a biological advantage against women. Pure and simple. But Democrats argue that it's a political ploy targeting transgender youth in the state. The bill even extending the ban to grades as low as kindergarten. Now they say Republicans may not be able to revive the bill in the House. The votes are going to be very close. We are working with our uh, more centrist Republican partners to see if we can, those that have already voted no on the policy, if we can still count on their vote to sustain the governor's veto as well. This also comes after Representative Cheryl Helmer, a Republican from Mulvane, says she doesn't want to share a bathroom with her transgender colleague, referring to Democratic Representative Stephanie Byers from Wichita. Some groups calling for disciplinary action against Helmer. We serve in the same space. We sit a row apart from each other in the house, but we have yet to speak to one another on these things. I see on her social media, she triples down on these comments. But GOP members are still backing the bill. They say it has nothing to do with discriminating against transgender kids. I cannot speak for Representative Helmer. I, 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 you will not hear anything like that coming out of my mouth. I do not want to discriminate against these young women. I do not want to end women's sports. Now, here in the House, they'll need 84 votes to override the governor's veto. This initially passed just 10 votes shy of that number. Some Republicans also voting against the measure. For now, reporting live at the Capitol, I'm Rebecca Chung. All right, Rebecca, thank you for that live update.